Hello, Christy Scheip here from the NCFCA Debate Committee to let you know about next year's value debate resolutions. Thank you to all of our affiliates who submitted resolution ideas. The Debate Committee has researched and discussed topic ideas for months and finally narrowed down the choices to our top three resolutions, which we are recommending for your vote. I'm really excited about the options we have for you this year and truly believe that any one of them would allow you to have an educational and lively value debate season. Value resolution number one states, governments have a moral obligation to recognize one or more of the following as human rights, healthcare, housing, and or universal basic income. The nature of human rights is an ongoing question, allowing you to draw from both historical and modern scholarship. But the really exciting thing about this resolution is that the affirmative has the potential to create multiple different cases, which in turn means that the negative would have to be prepared with multiple different responses. This resolution is sure to keep you on your toes and add a lot of variety to your debate season. Next, we have value resolution number two, which states, physical violence is a just response to political oppression. This resolution taps into a debate with deep roots in history and philosophy, and a rich base of historical examples that can illustrate your arguments. Not only is this resolution rooted in history, it is also relevant to the present, as the events of 2020 illustrated, with Black Lives Matter and Stop the Steal protests that sometimes involved physical violence. When is violence justified? You will be joining the conversation that people have been having for centuries on this important question. And that brings us to value resolution number three. The individual right to property ought to be valued above the economic interest of the community. This resolution combines three fascinating aspects of philosophy that scholars have been studying for literally thousands of years. First, this resolution pits the rights of the individual against the interests of the community. Second, this topic allows you to discuss the nature of property as a human right. And third, by including the economic interest of the community, this resolution also allows you to discuss wealth distribution, a current hot topic of our day. I trust that these three resolutions will give you plenty to consider as you decide which topic you'd like to debate next season. I encourage you to read the white papers on each resolution and dig into the sources listed in each paper. Then watch for information about our live Q&A session next week with our debate committee members who will be available to answer your questions. Finally, you'll have the chance to vote for your favorite topic between Monday, April 4th and Monday, April 18th. Visit your NCFCA dashboard for the resolution white papers and your link to voting. I can't wait to see which topic you choose.